Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 2 Rags to Riches. Here we are in bed with our fiance. They just had woohoo for the first time. Um, good for them. Well, I don't know if Peter's woohooed before. I'm going to assume not. I don't think the townies have prior woohoos if, if they haven't woohooed with playable sims. Not sure. That's something to look into, I suppose. But we are, well, they don't really need to sleep for much longer. It is eight at night. Oh, Peter's getting up. Oh, they're snuggling. Oh my God, this is so cute. The Sims 4 could never. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll just let them sleep until they get up. This is cute. Oh, Peter's up. Did he leave? Yeah, Peter's leaving. Okay. So we just go back to Matt, and he's going to sleep until he's ready to get up in the morning. Or not. Oh, God. Uh, it's midnight. Oh, this really screwed up our... Our, um... Our sleep schedule. So I think I might go work on the car after he bathes, which is very counterproductive. But it, that's the only way I know to really knock out your energy is to work on the car. Oh, and I forgot to get the mail last episode. I saw the mail come and then I didn't get it. So let's hurry and do that and pay our bills. And then let's work on the car. And probably recycle some of the... Eh, I don't really care about the newspaper coming. I don't need a job, so... Knock on wood. <laughs> Knock on wood. I don't want to get another job. This one's going pretty well. Okay, so let's... Pay bills. $120? This That's not bad at all. And then work on the body. And let's zip through this. All right, bills are paid. Oh, and he's thinking about Peter. Oh, they're so cute. Let's get that energy need down. So he wants to gain a logic skill point, make a friend, cleaning skill point, and gain a charisma skill point. Everything he needs for a promotion because he is a fortune sim. So we will do that after... And the snow is just magically gone. Um, <laughs> we'll do that after we get some work done on the car because for this it's getting his energy down so he can go back to bed and then wake up because I'm pretty sure he has work today yes he does oh okay <laughs> my wish for beauty is still active hi don't mind me oh god there's a werewolf let's not get bitten that would be not fun Okay, that's enough. Go take a shower, Pete. Uh, Matt. I almost called him Peter. <laughs> oh, Peter. I can't believe I haven't done that joke yet. <laughs> and then, okay. So I have him going to pee and then take a shower and then go to bed. So... Because he should sleep for a few hours and his energy should be okay. Because our bed is so good. So hopefully it'll work out. That's all I can hope for. Um, Joe let me know that Peter's just in permanent platinum aspiration now. So that's fabulous. I can keep drinking this and it won't do anything bad. Because if you do this, I think under gold aspiration, it has the chance to like actually increase the days that you've lived instead of taking them away. So that's bad. All right, he should be getting up here in an hour or so. And he broke the tub. Good. Good, good, good. My favorite. Okay, he is up. Let's go repair the shower. When does he go to work? Because his schedule's changed now. 11 to 5. So the carpool won't be here till 10. So that's great. And then once he fixes that, he can... Do we have leftovers? Yeah. 
in my old fridge that I should have just replaced. Oh, I'm still upset at myself for that. <laughs> but it is what it is. Maybe when he gets home from work, we can try making some robots? See how that goes. How long is it going to take to finish this? Is that the green bar or is that his mechanical skill? I always forget. I think that's the green bar is the progress. Yeah, it's done. Yay, good job, Matt. The carpool for Matt will arrive in an hour. Um, what do we have? Cereal and spaghetti. It's nine in the morning. Let's have cereal. I think it's cereal. Or it might be mac and cheese. I think it's mac and cheese. Oh, well. Yeah, it is. Who calls it? I think Juno Birch calls the cereal in this game a bowl of carpet. Kind of does look like a bowl of carpet, not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> it's either her or Pleasances. I can't remember. But I think it's Juno. That sounds like something she'd do. He's eating good. What's this? Lose a cooking contest. Okay, well, we're probably not going to enter a cooking contest because our cooking is only level three. <laughs> and he's not going to get promoted today because we still need to do a bunch of stuff. So maybe tonight he can do that instead of work on robots. Let's try and get the cleaning and the... It's cleaning, charisma, and what? Cleaning, logic, and charisma. So we can play chess and then study cleaning and then um, talk to ourselves in the mirror like normal people. Absolutely normal people. <laughs> when I was in speech and debate in high school, sometimes you'd be at a speech meet and you'd just see people like rehearsing their pieces to walls so they wouldn't see people looking at them. But they knew people were looking at them. They just didn't have to see it. So they would turn and face the wall. Um, very entertaining. <laughs> Once again, honking at us when the doors open. Okay, bye, girl. Go! And he is home. And the snow returned, so that's good. He, God, he makes $1,500 a day now. That's so nice. I'm so happy. Okay, so clean this up, and then I want him to drink the elixir of life. And then let's start by studying cleaning. So let's zip through all this. He didn't get, oh my God, the Sims. He didn't get both of the dirty bowls, just the one, just the one. It's fine. And he's gonna age up a day here now. I probably should have waited till after, but it kind of doesn't really matter, I guess. It's fine. Yeah, see, he just aged up one day right there. But he's going to be an elder in 14 days. That's that's a while away. And we still have, I think, one or two more drinks of the Elixir of Life. So, not concerned. Because we're over halfway for the challenge. I think our loss worth 36000 and we're going for 69000 Nice. Um, <laughs> so, he's halfway there for the money. And I've decided... If we get to $69,000 before we max out our career, I'm just going to have him marry Peter because at that point, the money doesn't matter. And then um, they can live together and be happy until Matt maxes out his career. And then the challenge will be over. And I, I'll have done my first rags to riches ever. I've never even done it in The Sims 4. Um, I don't play a lot in The Sims 4. I mostly just like fuss around the gallery and then like put all these interesting cool lots down and I make a sim and then I don't play <laughs> for like three weeks and then when I go back I'm like ah, I could I could do this better that's that's my experience with the sims 4 is mostly putting down lots from the gallery it's real fun <laughs> all right there's his cleaning how are his needs looking not awful he could go pee so let's go pee and then we can just start talking in the mirror since we're already in the bathroom. And then we work, we need to work on getting another friend. Who's our highest relationship that isn't a friend? Dawn? Because Callista's our friend. Okay, so I was told about Callista's last name. It is not Callista Fucks, as hilarious as that is. Um, it is Fuchs. I think. I believe I'm saying that right. It's a German last name. I got the hard CH as like a K sound. The U I never would have guessed. Cause like in English, this looks like much, 
but it's Fuchs. So there we go. <laughs> we now know how to pronounce her name correctly. But yeah, I think our next best relationship that isn't the guy who tried to steal from us is Don. So we can invite Don Lothario over. Oh, she bleep. We need kind of. Yeah, maybe tomorrow night we'll invite Don over and um, play chess. Because he seemed to want to play chess the last time he was here, and that would help us get our logic skill up. This charisma skill is going to take a minute. That's fine. Because now he doesn't need to sleep for nearly as long. So that's so nice. Having this upgraded bed is fabulous. Anything else going on on my lot? Probably not. Just random passerby. Hello, Miss Fan. Melissa Fancy. I don't know why I went for Roger from <laughs> from American Dad, but here we are. I love that outfit. That's one of my favorites. I downloaded. Oh, she. He's almost there. I wonder what the oh, other ways to rehearse charisma are. I feel like Joe's told me at some point, but I don't remember. Can you study charisma here? No. That's fine. He's almost there now, and then we should probably go to bed. Well, take a take a shower. We could eat something, too. Okay, so there's that. Matt is losing enthusiasm about games. To stay more excited about this hobby, Matt will have to spend more time performing related activities. That's fine. <laughs> Tinkering's all I need. No. Get leftovers. We'll have spaghetti tonight, since we had macaroni and cheese for breakfast all of the pasta and noodles so we'll have spaghetti and then we'll take a shower and go to sleep so let's sleep. oh oh my mouse is acting weird it keeps jumping around that's odd and it hasn't ever done that before huh okay so now we can go to sleep once i put the spaghetti away <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to lose it. That would just be more cooking he has to do. Alrighty. Now he's going to take a shower. I want to say real quick, but the showers legitimately take a long time in this game. But it's fine. Oh my god, that shower is horrendous. Do you see that? We're going to have to clean that tomorrow. Ugh. That's so bad. I don't think we've ever gotten our shower that bad before. Alrighty, he is awake. I'm gonna have him clean this shower because it's horrendous. That's one thing I really enjoy about The Sims 2. Like when this stuff is dirty, it's dirty. It is so dirty, you, you want to clean it up. In The Sims 4, sometimes I'm kind of like just, nah, whatever. It'll be fine. But in The Sims 2, you're like, oh, I don't want my Sim anywhere near that. Like, we haven't seen the toilet get really dirty yet. It's it's horrendous. <laughs> okay, so what are we going to do after we wash these plates? Looks like we can pee. And then, like, try making a toy robot. See if that gets our fun up. I know we should play chess, but... Mm, it's fine. We can do that tonight with Don. We'll invite him over. And we don't even need a sensor bar because the robot table does it for us. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Toy robots have come a long way. First you had to operate them with foot pedals. After that, they ran on steam. Now they run on a clean mu muon, co muon catalyst cold fusion reactor. Warn you, do not shake the cold fusion reactor. A muon leakage or eyebrow control chip overload may result. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Um, let's make a green one. I'm just gonna call it Toy Robot. Let's see these animations. Oh yeah, just, just hit it with a wrench and screw drive the block. Of, um. <laughs> this is hilarious. So it costed me 108 to buy. 
I guess the materials for. Is his mechanical skill going up? I think that's what this is. But it looks like I'm also gaining points on a talent badge for, I don't know if it's robot robotics or toy making, one of the two. It looks like robotics to me. Eventually it'll tell us once we get like the bronze talent badge. Carpool for Matt will arrive in about an hour. That's fine. His needs are all good. And this is getting his fun up perfect. Yay! Sell for 120. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So that's a little bit of money. It was 108. Yeah, so we made $12. Cool. <laughs> but once we start getting our robotic skill up, they'll start selling for more, and then we should be able to make different things besides toy robots once we level up our mechanical and or our talent badge. So that's nice. Um, What can we do before... We can call someone on the phone. Who's our lowest relationship out of our friends? Callista's at 75. Let's call Callista. Call Sim. He can just talk on the phone until he goes to work to get his social need up. Let's just talk. Ooh. Okay, so it's slowly increasing with her. <laughs> Who's he hot for? Some old guy. I think that was that Makoto guy that walked by who we don't really know. 83 with Kalista, that's fabulous. Because we need to keep all of our friends, so I think next time we'll call Makoto Clark. Or I want to call Samantha, but like, she doesn't have a phone, and I don't want to invite her over because she's ill. <laughs> okay, there's the carpool. So let's go to work. Oh, that lag. All right, say goodbye to Callista. We're at 90 with her. We must have decent chemistry with Callista, which is nice. I know, girl. Are you coming to bring me bills? Please don't. <laughs> Please don't bring me bills. Oh, you're bringing me bills. All righty, he is home. We're gonna hurry and get the mail and pay those bills. Another 1,500, God. Booyah, this week was amazing. Let's make next week more of the same. I agree, girl. Things are going pretty decently. We haven't had any major upsets. And I shouldn't have said that out loud, but here we are. Um, <laughs> let's pay these bills and then we'll invite over Dawn. Okay, ah, the angle. 126, they're a little bit higher now. That's fine. Call Sim. Our needs are looking fine. Nothing we can't handle. No shadow when he's carrying an item <laughs> again. <laughs> it's fine. It's all fine. I don't think Don has a job. Am I wrong about that? I don't think Don Lothario has a job, so he should be able to come over. You've reached Don's answering machine. I'm not home right now, so try calling again later. Thanks. Damn it. Who are we going to invite over to play chess with? I can't think of anyone that I know we have chemistry with. Ryan Wheeler. Definitely not Nina. Let's try calling Darren Dreamer. I know he is unemployed. Because he's just a painter. So he can squeeze me in. Let's just invite him. It was inevitable. Blizzard. Never. 
Yeah, um, I'm making a baked Alaska right now. Couldn't possibly tear myself away. Thanks, girl. You're so nice. Um, I'm going to call Clarence. <laughs> He's a townie. He should come over. If no one comes over tonight, I'm going to be moderately upset. But it's fine. Ryan Wheeler, where's Clarence? There he is. Oh, he's not home either. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Fine. Whatever. Let's just practice chess. At least get the logic skill point even if I don't make a friend. I guess I can look for passerby. Who are you? Victor Stratton? You're kind of cute. I, lo I love the outfits. I've downloaded such good CC. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> All right, let's greet Victor, and then maybe we can play chess with him. And we have three grand to spend. Oh, and that'll get our gaming hobby up. That's cool. Come on in, Victor. Oh, it's spring now. Cool. We shouldn't get any more snow, I think. <laughs> Talk, chat. And then practice. Oh dear, the lag. There we go. Oh, it's because it was turning night. Okay. Oh, good. He's going to play with me. Hooray! Let's see. So we're at two right now. This is going to get my larger skill up, and I'll hopefully we'll become friends with him, but it doesn't look like things are going great. I don't think he is a fortune sim. That's fine. Slowly but surely wins the race. Things are going bad. This could work. Is he a teen? I wish it tell it told you their life state when you hovered over them. That'd be nice. Maybe it does in The Sims 3. That sounds familiar. Yeah, this is going well. We might get our logic skill point and the new friend tonight, which would be fabulous, because then we'll get... Oh, whatever. Um, <laughs> I don't answer the phone anymore. I'm bad about that, but meh. I don't answer the phone in real life either. Um, but then we'll get promoted tomorrow. We'll be on level 7. I think Joe said I was on level 6. We only need to get to level 10, and then that part of the challenge is done, which I'm so excited about. Yeah, this is going great. Yay! We made a friend. What's this? Play catch. And we got the logic skill. Oh, that's so cool. Nice. This went beautifully. Bye. Victor, didn't remember your name. I do now. Bye. <laughs> okay, hold on. Before you go to bed, let's pee and then take a shower and then we can sleep. Things have gone pretty well this episode. Very happy about that. We should get promoted tomorrow, which is great. And then we'll be at level seven. I wonder what this is going to be. Maybe it'll be a full-time university lecturer because now we're only a guest lecturer, which is fine. But, oh, I'm so excited to see what it is. And he is up and awake. What do we need to do this morning? Just get some leftovers. Oh, he was watching TV. That's fine. Um, once again, mac and cheese for breakfast. <laughs> and then put leftovers away. And then I'm going to have him make another robot. Because we don't go to work for a, a while. And I want his robotic skill to grow. Because then we can start making servos. And I think those sell for a few thousand a pop. So he's done with breakfast. Gonna put the leftovers away. Let's make this toy. 
Let's make a red one. <laughs> I don't think it matters. He still hasn't earned that bronze talent badge, but that's okay. Hopefully today... His mechanical skill is going to be fabulous. And honestly, he's not an unskilled sim. The only ones he's missing are body and creativity. Okay, so he finished the robot. Sell for 120. We can make another one. Let's do that one. Things are going pretty well. All right, car full for Matt will arrive in an hour. Hopefully he'll be done with that toy by then. I just love that he's just banging on a block of metal with a wrench and then screwing into it. Yes. Cool. So let's sell that for 120. Oh, what's that? Woo! Yeah, you're doing good, girl. Um, I can't think of anything else to do before the carpool arrives. So, yeah, just go lounge. And then the carpool will get here, we'll go to work, and hopefully we'll get promoted. I locked in a want he has to get promoted, so that'd be really nice, because that's 3,000 more aspiration. All right. Let's do or die. Come on, Matt. Wait, Mary. Get up. You have to go to work. You can't be late on the day you're supposed to get promoted. Okay, here he comes. He's thinking about fortune, <laughs> which is good. All right, I'll see you guys when he gets off work. He's home from work and Victor's not a family friend anymore, which isn't a huge surprise. And he didn't get promoted. Good. Great. My favorite. I wonder if it's because we lost our friendship with Victor right before we got home. Because I think it's when you get home when it decides if you get promoted or not. Oh, that pisses me off. Oh, this game. Well, <laughs> on that note, I guess I'm going to leave us here. So we're going to call Victor over. We're going to play some more chess. We're going to get to be better friends with him. And then I guess our next work day, which is on Monday, will get promoted. <laughs> I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.